Hello once again dudes, my name is Emil and uh, welcome to another XHTML tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be learning how to create a hyperlink that links to something directly into a website. So, uh, we have a website here. And we're in the year of 2012, at least when I was making this uh, video, uh, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, today, well, <laughs> people don't feel like uh, looking around for things like that they want their data right away so if we're looking like at this page and this is about education generally and uh, you want the people to be able to pause quickly there is a function uh, but first I created this document in XHTML it ain't too hard uh, I added uh, a title uh, a bold text saying pros added some headers and some paragraphs with some text you can get this text on lauraipsum.com uh, Choose here one paragraph, generate lauraipsum and copy it into paragraphs like I did. It shouldn't be so hard. Uh, you can just put random text in there. It just needs to be long because it just needs to be so long that the website, you know, kind of needs to be pulled down to see more information. Alright, so let's get started. So what do you think? What you might think we're going to do uh, or I don't know if you thing you're going to do but I'm gonna tell you what we're going to do what we're going to do is that at everyone I'm gonna take uh, the nerd down here cause that's the one that is the most longest far away but we are going to use the a tag and an attribute called name and we're going to set this eagles to like the name sets an ID kinda of something on the website it can be everything in this case, it's the Heather Nerd. So this is what we are setting the ID. We're going to set it equals to Nerd. So if we scroll up here, where I made my bold text, here's our browsing section. Go ahead and create a text to create a hyperlink and here and a hyper a hyper text referent to and make the sign slash a sharp sorry here and then Nerd. If you di don't add this, uh, the browser don't kno know it's directly on the website. This basically just tells uh, XHTML, well, this is on the website. So if we go ahead and save this, and look here. Uh, I missed something. Oh, <laughs> I didn't type it in. Nerd. Uh, so yeah, like that. And uh, look here. If we click here. We'll get directly down here to the nerd section. So here, nerd. Right? Especially if you uh, go ahead and uh, make it even smaller, you'll see it will be even more useful, right? You have a small screen. So just to show you again, I'm gonna do the same thing with soldier, right? So we're going to set the name equals to um, uh, millet. Uh, just soldier. Actually, that's not as confusing. And uh, up here, we're going to make another A tag. Or here. And we're going to uh, refer it to uh, soldier. It was right. So we're going to type in soldier. Right. So if we run this in Google Chrome, let's we'll see if you click on soldier, get directly to the soldier page. Now you can do this with as many as you want, uh, want. so now you can browse quickly uh, if you add this to all of them. But there is one thing. You can also go ahead and edit the down below the page here uh, to get to the top of the page. Um, and there is some advanced ways to do this. But since this is a simple XHTML tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to do it simply in the XHTML. So down here we ha have let's say uh, we will add a sender tag just to have it sender cause it looks nice and in here we are going to set a name used to uh, sorry <laughs> that's not what we're going to do we're going to add a tags of course that's just me we missed it up and uh, up here in at the title which is called first it's just what I named the title basically I'm gonna put a, a tag here, given a, a name. I'm gonna look on top, and uh, then right there. 
So what we can basically just do is down here, refer it to, you know, the top of the page by giving the name, um, <coughs> top of the page. So this is a few a function that a lot of website has. You can make it in JavaScript, but you can also just go ahead and create it in XHTML. So thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next tutorial.